As filmmakers, it's wonderful to have the right gear. It's wonderful to have the right software. It's wonderful to have the right plugins. But one of the things we're discovering here at the show, especially as we move to higher resolutions, we've got to have the ability to store it somewhere, archiving our projects so we can use them not only next week, but next year and the next 10 years becomes critical. That's where our next guest comes in. His name is Phil Reedy. He's the president and CEO of Cache. And Phil, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Larry. I appreciate it. We are glad. You know, it's always wonderful to have you on the show. You've been here many times, and I'm uh, looking forward to chatting again today. Give us a one-paragraph description of Cache. Cache is a company that is dedicated to the premise of making archiving easy. And uh, the approach we take to accomplish that is to provide an appliance that has LTO tape as a deliverable, but also blends hard disk technology and software to make the entire process easy. Now, a lot of people are throwing around the word appliance. What does appliance mean to you? What appliance means to us is a complete solution right out of the box that can be plugged into your network, that self-discovers, and enables everyone on the network to use the archive appliance to safeguard their content. Now, this is a really important point that, that you just sort of blew past. That you're network attached, so you're not uh, attached to a single computer. You're plugged into a network. That, that is correct. You can also come in directly through various interfaces like USB 3.0 or eSATA. Uh, if you have, for example, a external hard drive uh, no need to network that. We can we can come in directly. So what kind of gear do you have now? And I want to get a sense of what's new in a second, but give us a, a pricey of what's available. Well, uh, we, we start uh, with LTO4 at a very low price of uh, $59.95. And um, our most popular models, however, have been the more recent LTO6. Uh, our flagship is called ProCache. Uh, it has six terabytes of disk to use, an LTO6 drive, uh, and uh, it goes for $11,000. Now, LTO4, 5, and 6 refer to different standards of tape archiving. LTO4 is up replaced or updated to 5, and 5 is updated to 6. And about every 18 months, they do an update. Why should somebody pay attention to what number LTO they're using? Well, uh, every time a new generation comes out, it roughly doubles the size of what you can fit on, on the cartridge. And certainly as the uh, production workflows like 4K continue to generate more and more data, you want your tape to keep up with that. And so uh, you want the, the largest capacity and the fastest speeds, which is to point you into the new generations. What do you provide the actual additional flexibility. What do, you, what do you guys add to the drive? Our, our secret sauce is our software stack. And uh, we serve up a very intuitive, easy to use uh, user interface. And we have plug and play deployment, and we have uh, drag and drop ease of use. We also build in a catalog into each appliance. So not only do we preserve your content for the long term, but we help you find it when you need it. Find it across multiple tapes? Find it across multiple tapes. Our appliances will remember every tape they ever see. And Whether for record or playback. Uh, th that's correct. And uh, so that gets stored in a, in a database, and you can search that database on keyword or file name. So what have you got that's new? Ah, so we have some great new software features. One is called Simulcopy, and it enables you to make two and up to four copies of your data at the same time, and only hitting the, the source data once. So for those who want your, your, a cartridge on-site and off-site, we help you make that in the same time it would make, take to make one cartridge. And it adds to your data protection uh, uh, strategy. We also have a uh, software feature called incremental archiving. So imagine you have a post-production project and you've done a full archive of it, as you add new things or change things, incremental archiving allows you to just capture those changes instead of having to re-archive the entire project. Are these uh, an extra cost update or do existing? They are not. Uh, it comes as a free uh, set of features with the new software uh, revs that are available uh, over the internet straight into your uh, uh, archive appliance. 
And what does this, all this stuff cost, like the ProCash? Uh, our ProCash is uh, for LTO6, so I'll quote the latest, is $11,000. And that contains all the software and all the hardware you need for a complete archive solution. And it plugs into the network so multiple users can access it at the same time. That's correct, Larry. And it will self-discover on that network, so that is also easy to do. So what can we do for people that may not have $11,000 in the bank? Uh, well, you, they are available through various rental houses, and uh, some people find for project work that that works just great for them. So we can actually rent these units? That is correct. That's a very cool idea. Phil, where can people go on the web to learn more about you and your products? To learn more, please go to cache.com. That's C-A-C-H-E dash a, Cache.com, and Phil Reedy is the president and CEO of Cache. And Phil, as always, a delight chatting. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Larry. Take care. Bye-bye.